So hey there and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. So a couple of weeks ago while I was on a job site doing work for a construction company, I decided to take a few minutes and put together something for a 3D model of a new home that's located out in the middle of nowhere. So what we're looking at right now is the PIX4D um, model program. So this is my standalone desktop uh, modeling program from PIX4D. So it's not the mapper, it's just the modeler. But uh, I decided let's let's take a look at how PIX4D, Photo Scan, Drone Deploy, and Maps Made Easy, how each of them handles the same um, data set. So all I did with this house was I did a 360 degree orbit around the house. I had the gimbal at a slight downturn so that we could get the front and sides of the building as well as the roof of the building. And I kept the orbit really close in. So there's only 49 images. So we're looking at the standalone desktop version of Pix4D right now, and I can zoom that out. And I can actually turn the cameras on so you can see here are all the camera positions um, that went into creating this model. So there's the 49 photos, basically, that went into creating this model. Now, the Pix4D model application that uh, can be used on your desktop, that runs about $50 a month. And then you can do your own standalone work, but you can also use their cloud-based solution. So one thing I wanted to show you was the, the sides of the house aren't looking so good. So the front of the house came across really well. The sides and the back are looking fairly rough. And we've got some melting stuff going on in here. I don't know what kind of artifacts those are, but whatever they are, not good. So this is the standalone app, and like I said, only 49 images were taken. I'm going to close the Pix4D model program really quick, and we're going to go look at the cloud solutions. So I've already queued these up to talk about. So this first cloud solution right here is the Pix4D cloud. Now take a look at the side of the building in here. That is looking terrible. So for Pix4D, when you upload to their cloud, basically you upload all of the photos taken for your 3D model, and then Pix4D is off and running, and you'll get an email to tell you when it's ready in your account. Like the Pix4D uh, standalone model application, we've got some weird artifacts going on on the sides of this building, if you can't tell. And so there is that model again and we can just take a look around it and once again not looking super high quality like I said though you know it's only 49 images so it's not gonna be the best out there for sure but what's pretty surprising to me let's go ahead and close that window and the next item that we're gonna look at is drone deploy so this is from the same exact data set and drone deploy really seems to have carried the day the sides of the building are pretty well accurate. So very nice looking to me there. Let's go around and take a look at the back. The back of the building is definitely not looking like the disaster that we saw on the PIX4D output. So that's pretty interesting. My truck is definitely a melted puddle because I didn't actually include a lot of photographs of that. So that was an unhappy accident. And then when we look at the side of the building, remember the artifacts that we had on the PIX4D one? Yeah, they're not here. So there's the air conditioner right there and some of the pipes sticking out of the ground. So bottom line, the drone deploy model looks really, really slick. And um, I can also embed it on my website, send links to it to other people. So I, I can do the same thing with PIX4D and the other ones as well. But... Um, this one is very interesting to me because the same exact pool of images yielded much better results on drone deploy. With that said, I want to hop over to the next one. So this model was made with Maps Made Easy. So once again, same exact data set, 49 images. The front of the building looks awesome. We can even see uh, 12255 is the address. So this is looking really good on the front. And then we come over to the side, and I just want to cry. Um, once again, butchered the sides of this building, and this was into the sun. And you can even see the shadows back here. And the back of the building is not looking great at all. We've got some weird artifacts. We've got, 
you know, some just gaps in the mesh, not looking good. And coming around to this side, once again, side of the building is just an absolute mess and disaster. So that could be partly my exposure. One of the things that I got to say that was cool on Maps Made Easy was uh, Maps Made Easy determined very quickly that, in fact, this was an orbit mission. So this is the crop Maps Made Easy did. I didn't tell it to do anything. So when you're uploading to Drone Deploy, Pix4D, or Maps Made Easy, you don't really have a lot of options to tell them what you'd like or what you wouldn't like. And so in the end, you get this cropped model and hopefully it's what you wanted because on larger models, it can take hours to days to get your uh, model back if you're doing the cloud-based solution and depending on what you're spending on it. Finally, I wanted to go over, and this is Sketchfab. So from PhotoScan, I also made a model of this property. And from PhotoScan, I exported it to Sketchfab so that I could share it with people as well. Now, looking at this one, um, I did this uh, medium rendering, so I did not do the highest end solution possible on my desktop version because it would have taken hours and hours and hours. So instead of taking all of those hours, I just wanted to put together a quick one just to see, you know, what I was getting out of it. So I'm pulling up photo scan here really quick. So I just wanted to show you that Sketchfab model, but in photo scan, let's go ahead and open the home for Sketchfab. And so here it comes. There we go. So this on medium quality settings is what I got out of PhotoScan. So once again, this wasn't a full resolution render, so it could be better. And at least here, while the sides of the building still aren't what I would like to see, they're not a complete catastrophe either. And same with the back of the building. And really, it's going to depend on your needs as to what you're trying to get out of these 3D models. But definitely looking a little better. Still, that front, the front-facing area, it was not as slick looking as either Pix4D or Drone Deploy. But so this is my stand, this is one of my standalone solutions, I should say, on my iMac is PhotoScan. So I have PhotoScan standard that cost me $179. And I also use Pix4D model. So that's one version of Pix4D. Doesn't have all the data the Pix4D mapper does. But so between all of these, I think I'm most surprised that the best looking model out of all of them that I had up here was actually from Drone Deploy um, with just you know their automatic settings. Just upload the images, um, set it and forget it, and then they'll get back in touch with you and let you know uh, when your model is done. And it's very interesting to me that these different modelers have such different outcomes. Pix4D is one of the industry standards, and I have a feeling that if I had um, flown this uh, for another orbit and maybe taken a little more time to slow down and get the shadow areas, uh, I might have a cleaner presentation on my Pix4D and on my photo scan. But so there you go. There's the comparison. It gives you a quick idea of, um, you know, what are these things outputting? In the end, all of them did yield some kind of 3D model for me. Um, one of the cleanest looking ones has to be Drone Deploy. And um, Maps Made Easy looked okay, but there are still issues with that. So I think whichever cloud-based solution or desktop-based solution you go with, you're going to need to do some experimenting to figure out what's producing the results you need and also what your deliverables are. You know, if you're doing this for a client, do they want point cloud exports? Do they want measurements done right on the application? Do they just want a cool 3D model to throw up on their website? What are their needs? And based on their needs, you can start playing with each of these 3D modeling solutions to figure out which one's best for you. If you'd like to know more about basic 3D modeling with drones, up in the upper right corner, there's a little info tab, and that will link you over to my newest course on 3D modeling with drones. So it's a basic beginner's class, but if that's what you are, you're a basic beginner and you'd like to learn more about creating 3D models with your drone, that class is a very good starting point. And also, not only is the class a good starting point, but I also talk to you about how much doing this 3D modeling costs. 
because some of the software solutions are in the thousands of dollars. Some of the solutions only cost you money when you generate a map. And some of the solutions for practicing are actually free for you to practice with. And I go through all of that in the class. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click on the info tab. Well, thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope that this was informative and interesting so that you could see the same data set on four different modeling solutions and just see the differences in what they produce with the same exact image set. That's what's really neat here. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the next video, and I hope you have an awesome week. Fly safe and have fun.